This week is National EMS Week, honoring emergency workers and their life-saving work. And one important part of the care that they provide is the partnership between local and rural EMS. In tonight's Health Beat, Couple Land Sophie Heineman is finding out why that partnership means so much. Each day is a new challenge for EMS workers nationwide. For flight paramedic Eric Roop, the day starts with prep work, making sure a helicopter is ready to go with the supplies needed to tackle whatever crisis comes his way. Um, we're able to monitor all of the same things that they would in an ICU or an ER in this aircraft. Roop says the day doesn't go by that the flight team isn't needed, and weather permitting, the helicopter is frequently on the go. You never know what you're going to get into for the day. Uh, emergencies aren't planned, so we just try to make sure that we're prepped for everything, um, and then we kind of just uh, do help out in the hospital, help around the ER until something happens where we're called out. And when that call happens, rural and local EMS teams are there to help. Those uh, EMS personnel, they prepare our patients for transports. They take us from the airport to the hospital. Um, they're very critical for our role, and I just don't think we'd be able to survive without them. State EMS Association President and Flight Paramedic Eric Van Dusen says 85% of South Dakota's EMS teams are made up of volunteers. If the volunteer services weren't currently there, uh, when you called 911, in a smaller community, there would be no one there to come help you. Uh, with the exception of maybe the fire department or maybe law enforcement, and they don't have all the equipment to maintain um, good patient health care. This partnership is crucial in communities where medical services are limited, and Van Dusen says it significantly improves outcomes. If we, were, we didn't have those capabilities within our state, uh, we would unfortunately lose a lot more people, and we want to decrease that. Which is why both he and Roop hope people interested in the field will take the time to learn more. Nobody ever stops to think the ambulance needs help or the fire service needs help because they're the ones you call when you need help, and sometimes they are in need of um, support. There's a lot of need in every community. If you're looking to get involved in a meaningful way, uh, EMS services are definitely out there for you. With Health Beat, I'm Sophie Heineman. If you'd like to learn more about EMS in South Dakota, go to this story at kettleland.com.